Let's talk about climate change, and I'm sure we all remember that protest earlier this year when millions of young people walked out of their lessons to protest against the lack of action. But what's being done in classrooms to educate children about the threat? Well, there are now 16 UN-accredited climate change teachers in Essex, Suffolk and Norfolk, and the aim is to have one in every school. A teacher for around 20 years, Joe Askew is now at the forefront of this new drive. We actually need that, OK? That is a natural phenomenon as well. And we she is, in fact, Suffolk's first climate change teacher to win the UN's seal of approval after a period of intense study online. And now leading the way with eco-groups like this at East Burgard High School. I think it's important that the students that I teach are aware that they are facts that are being taught to them that have been accredited by the United Nations and some of our top scientists in the world because I think they're very aware as well that today they do get a lot of misinformation. This issue has very quickly become one of the biggest for young people. The 16-year-old Swedish campaigner Greta Thunberg has made sure of that. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. With, With those strong words, steely stare as the world's most powerful man wandered by and here too young feelings run deep really this is our only shot soon we won't even be able to save it at all i'm not entirely sure at this point if we can and that's very scary but i couldn't live with myself knowing i hadn't done anything to at least try the human race is a very clever species and i believe that if we start now we could turn around really high up people like trump they are really not doing anything when they are like some of the most powerful people in the world if we all come together to change it can happen it's not really possible if you've got that sort of pessimistic attitude because you'll just not really be trying hard enough in my opinion i think that it's important that we know what's happening to wildlife and to ourselves and what we're doing to our environment. To them, it's one of the biggest issues. Some of them are very optimistic, which is great. So they feel that they can make a difference. They feel that they've got a voice. I think it's important that we give them a voice. I'm scared that future generations are just going to die out. And I don't want that to happen because I want our species to continue on and on and on. Getting to this world isn't impossible. It means cutting greenhouse gas emissions by half within a decade and then being carbon neutral by mid-century. It's not just about getting animated, it's about action. And here already, it's the pupils who, just in the past few days, have inspired a fresh approach across the school site over things like recycling, waste and the use of plastic. More than ever, Joe is making them think and they are making things happen. Kevin Birch, BBC Look East, at East Burgold. Very articulate children. They were. Really good. Well done.